introduce my co-host, Mr. Ricky Grover. Oh, yeah. And also the legend that is Mr. Rob Lee. Hello. How are so, you? Yeah. Yeah. How's your week been, boys? Tell me. A little bit disappointed. Why? For me this week because um, I think the Prince Prince Harry has got my 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 girlfriend really. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Prince Harry got your girlfriend? Meghan Markle from Suits. I just love her. Do you? Uh, yeah, she's laminated from uh, you know. So and I'm, put I'm where? To if I sort of like her. Yeah, yeah. Is that free pass? Card. Yeah, free pass. Yeah. Decent. But you know, that's disappointing. Yeah, but you see that's disappointing. Yeah, but that's really, I'm, I think I think. Yeah. You've got to know the the player you're dealing with. You've yeah. got to know the player because not all players will be slagged. No. Some players will need a slagging yeah. and they will take it, but yeah. not all players, especially this day and age, you can't slag all players. You no. can't do it. No. You know, and that's where the game's changed, I think, for. But they talk about Tino Esprit. I remember mean, Tino Esprit again, same, same thing. Tino Esprit was either brilliant yeah. or he was awful. Yeah. Yeah. There was no, no in between. Yeah, there's no 7 out of 10 for him. <laughs> yeah. Either like a 10, 10 out of 10 or he's a 2. <laughs> And we, and we were playing this guy, I can't remember what game was, and we were getting beat, and he was awful. Don't let him kick the ball. And he came coming again, and he's trying to be nice, and he's trying to, he's got an interpreter in there. And uh, he went, Tino said, if you, seriously, if you don't improve, you, you've got five minutes of what you're coming off. Mm. And Tino just went to his interpreter, and he chatted about his interpreter in Spanish, and the interpreter went, but he said he'd rather come off now. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he took his boots off, and he started walking in the shower. <laughs> Rob's time, you could, you know, someone tackled you. I think it was more of a, a macho thing to show him, you know, your opposition that you're not injured, you can take exactly. it, you can ride it, you can get on with exactly. it. But I think now, whereas, well, they try and get people booked now. Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of game tackle shit going on. Goes and does a slide and tackle, which was a, which when we were playing it, it was a slide and tackle. Was a, some people were fantastic. It was an art, really. Yeah, it was tackle a skill. was an art. But I think now, anyone goes to the ground and does a slide and tackle. The, the, if they get the ball, they don't get the ball. The person running the ball rolls over three or four times and, and tries to get them sent off, which is, we get a lot of sending offs these days, so it's, it's a shame really, because tackling, I think was part of, you know, the crowd love a good tackle. Yeah, so oh, stay, yeah, 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 you heard Ricky said, people oh, get stuck in. Yeah, no, no one ain't getting stuck in, Billy Bonds, whatever happened to him. Billy Bonds, when he tackled, I think I've got it right, and if I've got it right, last time I saw you, he was a little kid, right? Is your own man Johnny Fortune, my yeah. mate? Yeah. And he's my mate, yeah, right? Yeah. Get him on the phone and meet him. I'm looking for Clyde Best. He's speaking. It's Clyde, it's Rob Lee, I spoke to you yesterday. What you? <laughs> 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 Hang on one sec. Clive, he's got red and he's embarrassing. <laughs> See what I mean? When I'm saying, Clive, oh, no. I spoke to you yesterday. It wasn't such a big beach no, as it is now in clubs where, you know, they have people like Jay at football clubs now making sure that players are in tip-top condition, injury prevention, um, your core, everything that he's just explained. That's that's obviously changed a lot from your time, right? It's, it's changed a lot. I, I think he's gone too far myself. That's my opinion. Obvious. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry about it, Jay. What it is, Jay? I don't want to embarrass him. He's old school. Jay, I don't want to embarrass him. Because Clyde Best wouldn't even pick the phone up to him earlier. Oh, oh, right. Clyde right. 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 couldn't hear me. He's the run round the edge of the memorial grounds with a pair of plimps on it, right? It's very embarrassing. Uh, I'm welling up here. It's like a little fish. The, and then the weird thing is they're supposed to just so go you know what that is? Do you know what I'm talking about, Tom? No, no. That's three of us out there. Is this supposed to be a football podcast? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about boxing then. Let's talk about boxing. Well, that, that wraps it up. So now we're moving on to Ricky's Ring. Yeah. Rick, Ricky's, Ricky's, Ring. Ricky's Ring. Oh. Ricky's Ring. Ricky's Ring. Ricky's Ring. Listen, um, Kel Brook is called out of Mick Hart. He's calling out everybody though, isn't he? I don't know rugby, but surely he's calling everybody out. You don't know what? You don't know what? We said rugby. Yeah. That's how much he knows about boxing. He's probably like rugby. See when you see I'm yeah, yeah. when you play that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Is that yeah. Yeah. Right? I actually yeah. know more about football. Yeah. 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 You know what, Mark? I love you doing this talk because I'm sitting around football, <laughs> right? and they keep talking about football. I ain't got a clue what they're talking about, and they're sitting here with their mouths open, dribbling. They ain't got a clue what you're talking about, but I'm into it. Keep going, Mark. Keep going, mate. Richie, you know how it works. Listen, so he was on his back foot a lot. I looked yeah. at what he yeah. was. He was a, it was a, it was a kickboxer originally. 
Okay. So they'll keep boxers hanging around on their back foot, you know? Yeah, you? the most lucrative division. Yeah, it's be, be, and, and rightly so, and I'll tell you the reason why. There's a, a very big difference. Heavyweight boxing is totally different to all the other weight divisions. In what way? In, in the simple way is that you can get killed in there. A, a lot, there's a lot bigger risk. Well, that was very, very dilly. Um, and I felt like, it was, I felt like I was blowing, so I was really, really out of breath, but yeah, um, it was to the extent that I couldn't breathe, so I was trying to get the, the tension off the bench, but I, I couldn't really move, I couldn't, I couldn't communicate with anyone, and then um, I just collapsed on the pit. They said that they're going to have me do a stress test, which is when you're on a treadmill, yeah. um, and you That's start like a running machine, <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I, I haven't met anyone else, really. I've heard about people just, you know, dying on a football pitch, funny enough. You, you young players just going over and dying and things. So you're so, so lucky to be here. But what I'm saying is, me and you have got the Hoken. These two. That's got the Hoken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now looking closer to home. One of your old clubs, Rob. Charlton Athletic. I oh, know. What's shambles, going on there? It's shambles, isn't it? Hey, it's one of fast. your old clubs, Charlton Athletic, once in the Premier League. I know. Doing big things. Now it looks just like an absolute joke. What's going on? Well, it's, it's, it's the owners, obviously. Um, I, I don't know what, what his, his thinking is. Or what, you know, they've, they've got a, it's, it's a great club. Um, and one that should be, you know, certainly flying and getting them into the Premier League. And it has been for a long time when Alan Kirby was there. I mean, I mean predicted the England score. I mean, nearly. Well, 3 1, I said. 3 0. We, we won three. We all knew they were going to win. Yeah, but I, I know, but I've got the three right now. I don't get many <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I never stayed on the score or anything like that. I don't get many things right. I'm, I'm telling you, I think United are tapped to the Queens. Yeah, okay. I think they're absolutely smashing. And next week when we're sitting here, and they've done them about 4 1, 4 0. You'll know what wow, I'm that's about. a big statement. That's a massive oh, wow. statement. Wow. That's yeah. a massive. Look at me. You've been yeah, playing for a while. I'll tell you what. Have you played? What's he doing, Rick? It's a question, everybody. Why is that time again, gentlemen? Tool of the week. Rob, last week's one. I don't think I should go first. Ricky, I think you should go first. Alright, I'm going to go first. And I can't wait to get this one out. I know it's the third week running. <laughs> but I'm still with Big Sam. <laughs> well, who's your I wasn't the guy from what Tony, is Tony Bellow. <laughs> <laughs> you was? I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to have to call that David Hay. But um, I'm going to go with Christian Benteke for possibly yeah. the worst penalty I've seen in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I actually mean that. Possible. I know you mean that. You're new to this. Tool of the week. What's upset you? What have you seen over the week or weekend that's really got your coat and got you going? I was going to say an individual, but any day. <laughs> you was going to say an individual. Yeah, but he got the result he wanted, so I'm going to say Monday night football. Yes. Liverpool man, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a letdown disappointment. 22 tools of the week there. 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, we'll take that. And for me this week, I think I'll go with the Aston Villa <laughs> for not giving Dwight York an interview. Oh, here we oh. go. Oh. 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 Was he chuck He's chucking the race by us again, really. <laughs> I'm ready to throw it out there. No, I'm serious. I'm going to go with Aston Villa. Don't give the guy a job, but interview. He's a legend for you. Yeah. He's got a day off next week, you're not here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm not here. here. No, you're not here, big man. Where, Where is he? Am I? Where is he? You're filming. Children need again. Oh, I'm filming. Yeah. No, I, no, I'm not. No, you are. No, I'm filming. I'm doing children in need tomorrow. No, you're, right. you're doing that tomorrow. Yeah. But then the next week, Wednesday, you're away. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you know? I don't have food. How do you know? The plan is in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, how do you know? How do you know? Well, <laughs> well people in my place. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Be yeah. clear to follow us next week. Check us out on social media or just jump straight onto our YouTube page. Our YouTube page? Our YouTube page. Yeah, we do right. have a YouTube page. Do we? Do we? Do we? I YouTube so. page. Yes. Yes. Channel. Don't we, don't we produce a thing? We have a channel. We have a YouTube uh, we have channel. A channel. And our Rule of Side webpage.